The Soundcore Life P2 Mini are here to bring you high quality sound for under 50 bucks, packing 10 millimeter drivers, big bass, and three EQ presets to bring you versatility and a tiny package. In this video, I'll be giving you my complete review along with comparisons to some of the top options in the sub $50 category. I will also be including microphone quality samples for those that are interested towards the end of this video. For transparency and full disclosure, Soundcore sent out the Life P2 Mini for my honest opinion and review. Now, the means by which I receive any of the products on my channel does not color my reviews or comparisons in any way. No other compensation was involved and no one was able to see this video prior to it being published. In other words, the brands will be seeing this video at the exact same time that you are. So now let's not waste any more time. Now, let me preface this by saying that all testing was done on a Galaxy S21 Plus, a Pixel 5a, an iPhone 12 Pro, and an iPad Pro 2021, just to ensure full compatibility across both iOS and Android. So first, these are featuring Bluetooth 5.2, along with AAC and SBC as their connection codecs. Now, when it comes to Bluetooth range, I was able to pull 34 feet or just about 10.3 meters. Now, obviously that's gonna vary depending on how many walls or obstructions you put in between the device that they're connected to and the earbuds in your ears. Now, in addition to this, these also feature dual connect or single usage mode. And that's where you can use each earbud individually while the other one is charging in the case and vice versa. Some people like to use one earbud at a time at work and then switch out halfway through the day. If that sounds like you, then they're gonna have you covered. Now, when it comes to watching video, so lag latency, anything like that, and that's basically where the person's mouth moving is not aligned with what you're hearing in your ears. There's little to none of that going on with the Soundcore Life P2 Mini. Tested them watching YouTube, Netflix, Disney+, Plus, HBO Max, no issues whatsoever with video latency. Now, since we're talking about latency, let's talk about mobile gaming. So these are going to be excellent for your casual games, Asphalt 9, things like that. Not going to be a problem for that. But if you're going to be playing Call of Duty Mobile or Fortnite, then you're going to definitely be experiencing some latency, especially on shooting games. These do not feature a low latency or gaming mode. So keep that in mind. If you're looking for a set of gaming earbuds, you might have to look elsewhere. But if that's you, feel free to ask me in the comment section and I'll gladly help you find some that'll work for what you need. On the plus side, gaming and low latency modes do affect connection stability and battery life. So it's probably better for the battery on these that there's no gaming mode. Now that we're on the topic of battery life, Soundcore was claiming eight hours with 24 hours on the case, bringing you to a total of 32 hours. In my own actual testing, I was able to get eight hours and 16 minutes at 75% volume. So overall, very, very good. When it comes to recharging the earbuds themselves, they do feature fast charge and that's 10 minutes worth of charge will get you an additional hour worth of playback time. As far as recharging the case itself, they are using USB Type-C. Sadly, there is no wireless charging available with the Soundcore Life P2 Mini. Then as far as the case itself, it is a oval shaped case, nothing too special about it. It does have a nice snap to it with its magnetic lid. It is overall very compact, easily fits in your pocket, a little bit of a thick boy, but still worthwhile considering the battery life that you're gonna get out of this case. Now, before we move into the next section, did you know that over 80% of the people that are watching my videos aren't even subscribed to this channel? Help me change that. I'm trying to build a welcoming and positive community around audio technology. So if you're into the latest headphones and true wireless earbuds, make sure you hit that subscribe button for me. I'd love it if you joined us. So now let's move over to the comfort and controls. So the Soundcore Life P2 Mini are featuring a compact stem style design. If anything, they more closely resemble a P3 three mini than a P2 mini, at least in my personal opinion. Now, for me, they are very comfortable. And for my large ears, it's not an issue. Now, I also had my brother try them who has some small to medium ears, and they were also not an issue for him as well. So very good. And they actually include a fairly decent tip selection. Not the best that I've seen from Soundcore, but still not bad. They are using a standard stem design with these. So if you want to rock with something like a spin fit tip, both the CP1025s and the CP360s, are going to be compatible with both the earbuds themselves and fitting inside the charging case. Now, if you're one of those people that are wondering about sleeping with these earbuds, for back sleep, it's not going to be an issue. For side sleep, it's a bit doable. Like for me, it was okay for a few minutes. So user experience and your own mileage is definitely going to vary. Then last but not least, these are carrying an IPX5 rating. So if you want to use them for your workouts and things of that nature, 
they're going to have you covered for that. But I definitely would not submerge them in water. Don't want to do that. Now, moving over to the controls, these are using touch controls and they are nice and responsive. You have access to a double tap, a triple tap and a long press. And that's going to give you control over play, pause, skip and reverse track, answered in phone calls, your voice assistant and the three EQ presets. So now let's move over into the performance of these earbuds. So first up the volume. So these are getting an 8.5 out of 10 on my own personal scale. So very loud, comfortable listening for me comes in around 65 to about 80% volume. So you still have plenty of overhead. If you're listening to an audiobook or a movie that has low dialogue, not going to be a problem. Now, when it comes to sound quality, the Soundcore Life P2 Mini, they did not skimp on sound quality. These have that standard Soundcore type of sound. So it's Soundcore's signature mode. It's dynamic and bouncy. It's got the boosted bass and the boosted treble in the signature mode. And it's bouncy and fun. It's what we expect from Soundcore earbuds. On top of that, you do have the three EQ presets. Soundcore signature, like I said, punchy bass with crisp treble, good for music and for watching your videos. Then they have a podcast mode, which is tuned for vocal clarity. Think podcast audiobooks, radio, things like that. It's got a bump in the mid range to really improve vocal clarity. And then last but not least, you've got the bass boost and it is exactly like it sounds. And on certain songs, it can actually tend to get muddy because there's so much bass. But man, let me tell you, it is a lot of bass. It is a lot of rumble. If you want earbuds that bring that thump, the bass boost mode is going to be the one for you. As always, I'm going to be breaking down the sound quality a little bit further in just a sec. And I'll also be including some test songs for you to try out with these earbuds. Now, all of my test songs can be found in my Amazon Music playlist. And if you're interested in a free three month trial of Amazon Music Unlimited, along with that El Jefe test playlist, hit the link in the description box right down below. Amazon has an excellent library of music with many of your favorite songs in both HD and Ultra HD flat quality. Better Source Audio makes all the difference when it comes to your earbuds and headphones. So treat yourself. It also directly supports the channel and it is highly, highly appreciated. So thank you for your time. And now let's break down that sound quality. So first up, the bass. Now these have a deep sub bass response and a nice punch. So very punchy bass, good rumble to it too. If you listen to those songs that have that low frequency, you know, rumble, or if you're watching videos with explosions, definitely bring it. Now it does tend to border on the boomy side, but it's not muddy and it doesn't ruin the mids. So it does have a sense of control in it as well. So long as you're staying out of that bass boost mode. Now for a test song, I was using Richie Rich, Let's Ride. Now that's a West Coast classic. If you haven't heard it, you need to add that to your playlist like ASAP. Now, moving over to the mids, these have a smooth mid range. It's not recessed. It's probably maybe slightly forward leaning. So you're getting very good vocal clarity. Both male and female voices are coming in rich and warm, and it sounds very good. Now, the test song that I was using was En Vogue, giving him something he can feel. Now, this is a quartet of sultry female voices that if you haven't heard it now, it is old school, but if you haven't heard it, you need to add this to your playlist. Now, moving over to the treble, the treble is crisp and clear, and there is good treble extension here, but it does it without becoming harsh or shrill. So you're not going to experience any sort of sibilance. Now, cymbals, strings, things like that come in very, very clear. So no problems there. There's actually some pretty decent instrument separation. Sadly, the sound is a bit more closed in, so there isn't a lot of stage or width to the sound itself. But I kind of didn't expect it on such a low price set of earbuds. Now the test track that I was using was from postmodern jukebox. It was their cover of Aerosmith's dream on. And the vocalist here is Morgan James. And if you haven't heard this, it is an amazing song for testing and for just enjoying. Now, if you find this video on YouTube, it's got like 24 million plus views and it has those views for a reason. And it's because the performance, it's absolutely amazing. So you definitely want to check that out. Now, if I had to give Soundcore any constructive criticism or feedback on the Soundcore Life P2 Mini, it's going to be the fact that they don't have volume control. That's a big one. And secondly, there is no app access. Now, I understand why there's no app access on their sub $50 earbuds. They're saving that for their mid and high tier earbuds. So I completely understand. But I don't know. I think it would be kind of a good guy move to start including all of their products in app support. 
I don't know. That's just me. So now let's move over to the comparison section. So first up versus the Life A1, because these are both of their latest earbuds and the Life A1 come in, you know, sometimes they vary between 40 and 50 bucks. So they are priced very similar. So first up, what are the differences? The P2 Minis feature a stem design versus the standard dot design of the Life A1. The P2 Minis also have touch controls versus button controls on the Life A1. They also feature IPX5, where the Life A1 have IPX7, so a bit of an improvement. Comes to charging, the Life P2 Mini have USB Type-C, where the Life A1 actually have USB-C and wireless charging. And then last but not least, controls are a little bit weird. The Live P2 Mini are lacking volume control, but the Life A1 have volume control, but they lack reverse track. So they're both kind of missing something in their control scheme. Kind of odd, but that's, that's just how they roll. Now, if I was gonna pick one out of these two, I would be picking the Soundcore Life A1. They have a longer battery, you get deeper bass in them. You're also getting the addition of wireless charging. Overall, the design is a bit more discreet without the stem style, and you are getting a higher IP rating. So in my opinion, they are worth the extra few bucks. So if you were gonna pick between the Life P2 Mini and the Life A1, personally, I would probably go with the Life A1. That's just my opinion. So now let's move over to the rankings. And for these rankings, we are going to be pitting the Soundcore Life P2 Mini against the Soundcore Life A1, the Edifier TWS1 Pro, the Tozo T12, and the Earfun Free 2. So let's start with the bass. In first place, you've got the Soundcore Life A1. In second place, you've got the Soundcore Life P2 Mini. In third place, the Tozo T12. Fourth place, you've got the Edifier TWS-1 Pro. And in fifth place, the Earfun Free 2. Now the Life A1 with Bass Boost activated is on another level. The P2 Mini get close as well as the T12, but the A1 definitely take that prize. Now moving over to the volume ranking. Number one, you've got the Tozo T12. Number two, you've got the Edifier TWS-1 Pro. Number three, the Soundcore Life A1. Number four, the Soundcore Life P2 Mini. And number five, the Earfun Free 2. Now, the T12 are miles ahead of all of the other options on this list when it comes to volume. They are easily a 10 out of 10. They're probably above a 10 out of 10 because they get so loud. All of these have plenty of volume with the exception of the Earfun Free 2. Those, I can easily listen to them at max volume. They could definitely do with one or two additional notches, but this video is not about them, so we'll move on. So now let's move over to the sound quality ranking. In first place, we've got the Edifier TWS-1 Pro. Second place, the Soundcore Life A1. Third place, the Life P2 Mini. Fourth place, the Tozo T12. And in fifth place, the Earfun Free 2. Now, sound quality is always going to be subjective, and it is susceptible to my own bias and my own personal preferences for how I like my sound presented to me. But for me, the edifiers continue to be the king under 50 bucks. Now, all of these are excellent options, but only the TWS-1 Pro provide the type of balance, separation, and soundstage that I am truly impressed with for an earbud that comes in at this price point. I honestly still can't believe that they sell for only 50 bucks when they can outclass even the Sony XM4 when it comes to straight up sound quality and all that for under 50 bucks. Now, before we move any further, let's get into some microphone quality samples. This way you can hear what the microphone sound like on all five of these to see which one is gonna be best for you. All right, so here we have the mic quality test for the Soundcore Life P2 Mini. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Obviously we're indoors in a semi-quiet room. So testing, testing, one, two, three. All right, so here we have the microphone quality test for the Soundcore Life A1. So testing, testing, one, two, three. Obviously we're indoors in a semi-quiet room. So testing, testing, one, two, three. All right, so here we have the microphone quality test for the Earfun Free 2. So testing, testing, one, two, three. Obviously we're indoors in a semi-quiet room. So testing, testing, one, two, three. All right, so here we have the microphone quality test for the Tozo T12. So testing, testing, one, two, three. Obviously we're indoors once again in a semi-quiet room. So testing, testing, one, two, three. All right, so here we have the microphone quality test for the Edifier TWS-1 Pro. So testing, testing, one, two, three. Obviously we're in an indoor room, semi-quiet. So testing, testing, one, two, three. All right, and here we have the Soundcore Life P2 Mini in a simulated crowd noise environment. Almost like a busy cafe or maybe a crowded train station. Something along those lines. So. Testing, testing, one, two, three. And here we have the microphone test for the Soundcore Life A1 in a simulated crowd noise environment. So something like a busy restaurant or maybe a crowded bar. 
something along those lines. So, testing, testing, one, two, three. All right, so here we have the microphone quality test for the Earphone Free 2 in a simulated crowd noise environment. So like a busy bar or maybe a crowded bus station, something along those lines. So, testing, testing, one, two, three. All right, and here we have the Tozo T12 in a simulated crowd noise environment. So like a busy bar or maybe a crowded train station, something along those lines. So, testing, testing, one, two, three. All right, so here we have the microphone quality test for the Edifier TWS-1 Pro in a simulated crowd mode environment. So almost like a crowded bar or maybe a busy restaurant, something along those lines. So, testing, testing, one, two, three. As always, you're going to have to be the judge of the call quality down in the comment section. So with all of that out of the way, if you're interested in any reviews of these earbuds that I mentioned in this video, check out the playlist that I'm going to leave for you up here. Otherwise, check out the video that YouTube thinks you're going to want to watch right up here. With all that said, I'm out of here. Peace.